good evening everyone we will uh, um, having mr jagannath panda sir ji so uh, we all know him personally and professionally because uh, we met him throughout our journey maybe in delhi and bhubneshwar and also we know uh, uh, he is the uh, most renowned odia artist which we uh, ideally know him as a good person and as a sensitive artist in our field so we will welcome uh, jagannath uh, panda sir ji and uh, um, we'll talk about how uh, uh, he also mentoring us uh, in our beats so it's a bhubneshwar uh, experimental studio and uh, we'll we'll conversation with him as our mentor and then we can ask the questions whatever we have in our mind throughout this talk so let's talk about beats and what is beats and what kind of work beats doing in bhubaneswar odisha so let's start beats bhubaneswar experimental art and design studio is based out of bhubaneswar and create um and creates elegant ethical uh, ethnically inspired and environmentally friendly products our aim is to create premium lifestyle product by harnessing the creative spirit of odisha and uh, its craft in a socially and environmentally responsible manner so we are uh, exploring a uh, different craft of odisha and how it will be uh, emerge with modern technologies so through this aspect our may, uh, goal or motto is to conduct ourselves as a socially and environmentally conscious organization so we are conscious about our environment our surrounding how it can i mean how the good impact can uh, create through this uh, initiative steps and also to be, uh, design and build high end products that are vis uh, visually appealing technologically innovative and user friendly so these are the motors and also uh, our research work uh, um, uh, uh, to drive research and development into new design practices and ethnic odia art so we are also talking about our state and uh, uh, the culture we have having and how it can be reflect through modern times so these are the uh, products which we are uh, um the uh, we are developing in our studio with our artist uh, and a ceramist uh, saroja and then uh, we are also very concerned about the uh, craft practices in our state bewitching uh, variety in uh, intricate through provoking yet utilitarian object uh, products so these are the words running through our mind when we talk about the variety of art and craft of odisha like stone work silver filigree uh, wood craft applique work brass and bell metal work and also dokra casting horn work potter painting paper mache terracotta so the list goes on so we know that this is the, uh, the things which we are also exploring and also researching about uh, also there are so many craft which has been dying or maybe in the stage of extinct in odisha so we try to revive in this modern time how it can be revived in such ways so every district in odisha has a specialist craft practices and a different take on and another over th uh, over 100 such practices were documented in the early 90s by the renowned artist and art historian dr dinanath patti so we uh, all know about dinanath patti sir so 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 it it was a very uh, appreciating uh, process and uh, he was in a setting which is still continuing in such ways this list has started dwelling in the recent year with artisans struggling to find works at beats we aim to rejuvenate this incredible art heritage by reimagining the way it connects with the contemporary world by way of design thinking and experimental art 
so uh, now we are going to talk about uh, this session of talk what we are going to discuss so we have a uh, eminent contemporary artist and the design mentor of beats we also discuss about that this talk series focus on the ethical responsibility and design philosophies that we should embrace during this product development process every product designer follows a set of discipline and principle in order to provide value to the uh, values for users through the format formation of emotional connection it can be seen in the form and function of deliberately designed object however there are no such specific phases to define what constitute good design and delightful design moreover it is capable of solving the utilitarian and aspect fulfilling demands and interacting with users engagement concern concerns with the creative process so uh, this is the step which we are developing with our mentors and with the people who who were connect with us so we are try to uh, constitutes this kind of idea in the process of product uh, making so as an experimental studio bits is um, indicating philosophical and sensory meaning of utilitarian products with the help of our design mentor jagannath panda so we'll more discuss with him at bits we uh, encourage local attention to appreciate the um, diverse influence on odisha craft techniques as well as uh, to cultivate critical design skills so uh, and also we believe that this talk series will uh, will be essential to our um, intention of promoting art and design at the center of conversation so all conversation will be around it and also we can ask for the more a conversation with uh, eminent contemporary artist and design mentor of beats jagannath panda in conversation with me as julius das i am to discuss about the art and philosophy in design uh, uh, presented by bhubneshwar ex uh, bhubneshwar experimental art and design studio beats so this talk is about art and design and also we'll discuss how we are uh, doing it in beats so i'm going to introduce our guest mr jagannath panda um mr jagannath panda born in 1970 in bhubneshwar odisha jagannath panda completed his mf bfa from the vk college of art and craft bhubaneswar in 1991 and an mfa from the faculty of fine art msu university baroda in 1994 he is also completed um, an mfa in sculpture from royal college of arts london in 2000 Uh, two also a uh, visiting research at fukuoka university in japan he has been exhibited in uh, exhibited his work at many galleries and museum in mumbai london new delhi tokyo and berlin he has won india's uh, lalit kala academy award and all india fine arts and craft society award he lives and works in delhi so uh, now i request pragya ma'am to introduce myself so it would be more easier for me to continue further so let me take the pleasure to introduce julius here he is an artist who is working uh, with beat studio and he works in bhubaneswar odisha he has done his bfa at bk college of art and craft bhubaneswar and mfa from the art department of art and performing arts uh, from uh, from shivnagar university dadri Julius has worked in diverse subjects like post-war citizenship, historical events, monuments, visual mass culture, sexuality, multi-layer conceptual and critical works, and research-based projects. He is currently working as the product designer for the Beast Studio. Julius, over to you now. So I'm going to introduce Jagannath Panda's practice, so it would be easier to know him personally, and then uh, it would be easier to start up. Uh, conversation with Jagannath Panda's painting and sculpture are often inspired by Odisha 
his native state in India, and his current home outside chaotically urban Gurgaon, Haryana. In Gurgaon, a rapid developing neighborhood, his work frequently depicts the anxiety associated with displacement and isolations. It reflects the rapid change in his surrounding, not just Gurgaon, but India as a whole. Human growth intersect with nature, human inter uh, intersect with animal, and the sacred and profane intersect. Panda breaks through these boundaries looking for the looking for fertile ground where as yet put it the center um, so uh, the center doesn't hold so uh, jagannath panda's work uh, focus on the conflict between knowledge and faith he proposed opposing components while dealing with a wide range of subjects problems and emotions including the humans and uh, natural world death and desire soci uh, social and economical disparities yeah, uh, urbanizations and dislocations difficulties and shifts in cultural and religious uh, perspectives so we can see uh, jagannath sir's work and then uh, we'll discuss so these are the sculpture and, and there will be installations and paintings. So Jagannatha use various medium and um, so it is a wide range of work as we discuss and also see uh, in the practice like how urbanizations and affect not only humans but the surrounding environment and the animal who are uh, also part of the land which is acquired by modernity or maybe the rapid development of cities and how it is directly and indirectly affect the whole uh, uh, natural world yes. hello sir so uh, now we can uh, uh, start with sir to asking by uh, themselves how he uh, started with beats and how we engage with each other to develop the concept to revive the craft and within the modern concept of product designing uh, thank you thank you Jules, uh giving very illustrative description how the beat within formation happened and uh, uh, and uh, your role and uh, where it is uh, leading basically i can see the beats as a uh, put a very special uh, you know signature in our creative uh, landscape in orissa yes. um, you know i'll tell you how the ideas of bits uh, come to our head for long back me been traveling around different exhibitions and sometime also uh, travel with the sandeep and then we have a, uh, a visited different exhibition that been showcasing you know unit three uh yeah. for or some craft uh, exhibitions and all so we see there's a there's a lot of uh, contradiction that uh, we uh, mm, you know uh, uh, we are looking at in uh, in a uh, uh, traditional and cultural landscape of orissa yeah. and uh, the mm, and the, the outcome, what we are seeing in the real, uh, the product that been in selling in the market. Uh, you know, uh, I, I've i studied uh, in BK College and then uh, studied under uh, close guidance of Dinanath Pate. He's been always, um, uh, always uh, very concerned about where our tradition practice are leading. Even yes. as a as a um, as an artist, uh, his practice and also as a researcher, he's been extensively looking at uh, 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 you know different practices or how they've been absurdly moving into a different directions, and uh, and the younger generation of uh, uh, the uh, the grass people, you know the the way they are looking at it, they have a no much clue about uh, where the traditions are coming in 
then all this situation you know we uh, thought about what is the problem because you know uh, there's a many issue even 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 uh, if you go to any market uh, like uh, in a puri or any tourist areas there is no difference between the screen printing palm leaf and yeah. the original handcrafted uh, palm leaf mm-hmm. and there is no differences between the master craftsman done the palm leaf painting and the some young boy done a palm leaf yes. painting so the prices uh, are, you know if you look at it then it never never been tagged and never been used that particular uh, the skill in a optimum way or the separated from something it is all mixed up everything so uh, so now what we can do as we studied in an art student but we never we never studied uh, uh, art as art uh, or uh, or the craft as art together like sometime we learning craft as like art form and art learning as like craft form that's why bk college and art craft art and craft is always been the two element we not never been talked about uh, much seriously the aspect of uh, orison craft craft yes but coming out of the solution we thought let's have a alternative space where artist and uh, designer and this uh, our traditional practice uh, through different uh, uh, indigenous uh, artist yes. how that can come together together and create something uh, out of it or or enhancing uh, you know uh, the product we been doing because a lot of traditional products uh, uh, are there but time to time the value of uh, of the products have changed because the, our utility values are uh, different now you know than 50 years ago or 40 years ago so how we can see those practice and engage you know rather those practices are like a completely uh, you know as we said the many craft forms are disappeared and there's a instinct craft form and uh, and nobody is practicing specially i have a also uh, experience uh, to visiting different uh, um you know traditional uh, artist village uh, mm-hmm. where uh, the practice is al- almost in the verge of disappearing yes uh, so i think uh, i feel like uh, this kind of space uh, uh, you know bubnes so uh, you know uh, experimental art and design space can give a little bit uh, hope you know chance to to relook at our practice and giving a little uh, understanding and the direction that's why the beach has emerged as a thing but i know you all are really working hard to giving it a, in a proper this thing uh, you know in a way to shipping them you know then we can move further yes. but i'm very very optimistic about it yes thank you and also i want to know about uh, all this idea when uh, we talk about craft especially craft which is uh, not very much exposed to the other world or maybe the other side so we know that in east uh, we have a lot of craft from textile and then so many things right. but how it i mean uh, through this kind of practices like let's say the experimental studio like bits how it can generate a um, economical standard for all this dry, dying craft so how can we revive through this kind of craft into market uh, uh, look because that's why that's why i'm saying because during you know uh, uh, let's this bits space can be like a user centric yes and yes. Uh, also also uh, uh, the traditional aesthetic centric as uh, yes. so that how they collaborate and have a conversation so yes. that those product uh, in terms of uh, uh, in a design thinking process yes. how we can create a, a product that be more much more usable yes. or the uh, uh, and and sense of uh, surprising for the uh, you know user users not uh, use the term like a buyer but the users of the like a, a, in a way but 
uh, when they going to enjoy and mm. they will love the product in terms of its a uh, historical and uh, ethical value of like uh, engaging community engaging artists in terms of uh, their economy benefit because a lot of uh, art students that uh, they come out they never get a chance or succeed in their art practice in terms of making painting or something but in a way this is going to give another direction for um, their, their livelihood and yeah. even a lot of art students i know those even go back to their village they do something else yes. can this space can be catalyst to bringing them or bringing different traditional practice to uh, or their children do the uh, you know uh, art, the uh, to back to yeah. their own route not yeah. to practice i'll tell you the story where i visited um, you know belgunta uh, fish uh, you know there's a beautiful fish yeah. but originally there's a only uh, there's a few, few people that they're practicing yeah. i visited the main guy who are doing it but he's doing the fish work but that's not the mainstream work he's yes. doing something like a uh, like a transformer or repairing work is the major work yes. and uh, when their practice or habit change they never it's going to be very difficult to bring them back into the process yes. uh, even i we give them an opportunity it's going to be you know this practice have been you know 100 100 years old which is a uh that's why it is sustained uh for us in a many way uh, but once it disappear reviving and recreating going to be a big challenge uh yes. we, i think this is the urgency we all should think institutions should think about it how they can work mm, like uh, uh you know through my foundation utsa yes. we always focus uh, uh in a collaboration ideas of collaboration that uh, the last time we did uh, the barbil art project the yes. artisan and artist collaborate and come out with a spectacular uh, art product which is surprised everyone yes so i uh, i think uh, this traditional uh, as you asked me this uh, the engaging um, uh, traditional artist uh, or the traditional skill of ours uh, uh, in a, a in a very open open way so yeah. that uh, so that they all you know they also benefited out of it ki what other you know not to stick with one particular object or a product and they can easily creatively engage in a diverse uh, and different kind of product that that also going to help them to sustain their livelihood much better way and also uh, like we all know uh, uh it's it's kind of a universal truth like uh, simplicity uh, and consistency and accelerating with that power how to um, also hold it will expand in a such a way which can be as you said it it can only happen with the collaboration so so th- this is the main part of to sustain a craft how we can collaborate and also reimagine that craft in the terms of users accessibility and in the terms of material understanding because we know that uh, as you mentioned earlier how brass um, brass flexible brass brass fish is now i mean those who are the practice the main practice and they are doing other things for the livelihood i mean that is the main point we are now also we are unable to reach out that point how can that craft also uh, reimagine in this time because it it uh, it should be revived such a way to reflect the contemporariness as in like if we talk about 100 years so that was the contemporary back then so i think we have to reimagine all those craft practices so it will help i mean uh, to set up a market or maybe in the terms of livelihood so um in beats also uh, so many times we are discuss about how to um, i mean think and how to produce in a such a uh, in a way to uh, uh, also considering the market and the taste and um, the um, exact uses of timeline also because in the studio we have to set up uh, we have to um, keep in our mind like we have a timeline to 
uh, work on with so how to cope up with the making process within the timeline and develop product um as a designer or as a thinker you know i long back i uh, i had a conversation with uh, uh, mr madhukar khera the uh, so uh, he was one of the best uh, 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 good understanding of uh, traditional um, tapestry uh, you know the rugs and all but it's a, a you know how they revived uh, so many household uh, around uh, you know uh, in punjab uh, uh, you know giving opportunity to different household uh, making rugs and uh, and that also helped uh, part of uh, fab india's design and all mm, basically we look at it is it is up to us as the designer and the artist engage uh, be, because it's a very open ended space uh, yes. we we don't have a only one one solution it, the the uh, you know artists can go to various spaces or yes. uh, to meeting with different artisans or or, yes. or the understanding their tradition what are the situation they are facing uh, um, i i remember you know when i spoke to one of uh, this metal caster uh, you know the metal brass uh, face maker uh, belagunta uh, his uncle he was like that time i think 69 or 70 or something he said ki you wanted to help us just uh, uh, get a opportunity or uh, uh, or ask government to set up a small uh, you know um, learning center that then we can before we die at least we teach the skill to oh, many of our children Generously. but can this can this be a formula or 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 the bits can engage in this yes. to 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 uh, in a larger uh, you know larger uh, uh, way to uh, reimagine how those landscape can be revived and relook at uh, so oh, we have a uh, several opportunity and possibilities Mm, and one is like a community studios where now which is doing the ceramic practice uh, you know developing the tribal uh, uh, in tapes and all that and completely turning into the ceramic uh, that i think we had a great tradition of clay yes. in terracotta uh, but never been explored but that's a, that's a good way to looking at it and uh, each art forms and yeah. uh, and continue engagement with this will be uh, it will lead to a um, new way of thinking thinking exactly yeah. even even we every part of orissa we have a, yeah. a different cluster of the craft uh, yes. and that is and they, they are all doing it we also look at uh, uh, all over india there's a yeah. lot of uh, or uh, designers uh, uh, artists they coming they visiting they using our motive and they you know um, doing something uh, different out of it and taking yes. back uh, and it may be a selling somewhere else we don't know as a as a very nice design product but uh, how the artisans are help uh, getting help out of it because yes. i last time i spoke to a savai grass uh, maker He said, "Ki look, uh, there's a lot of people from Bangalore or, or Delhi or anywhere. They're coming and doing things, and they are completely strict not to reproduce here to sell or sell, you know, their this thing. Very, very restricted uh, engagement. So, yeah. what, what way, what way uh, we can help? Yes, uh, to to uh, to educate those craftsmen the different and the, what is the different between this uh, different kind of product and how they can also create something you know out yes. of it. so that is that should be also our agenda you know to to focus and also uh, like uh, uh, we discuss in studio like how we can uh, make aware people about the cultural appropriations and how someone is benefiting from it and not giving back to the community where they took out all those efforts and levers from different uh, extensions so i think uh, that is also a valid point to discuss while 
talking about craft because cultural appropriation is the major issues in all over the world so so i think uh, that is also valid point to discuss further and also i i would like to ask you um like uh, about our questions which we are also continuously communicate with that um like uh, when we combining folk or traditional uh, elements with a modern appearance so it is it is uh, more appealing to the generation the new generation what we call now so the the contemporaries so um and uh, it is also create a capital which can benefit both ways so um, so when we uh, making and we are thinking about all this aspect so considering this process so uh, are we always think about uh, the users while making or developing a product in studio like the usability in the point of view of user while making so so how much that point is valid for us to think of a users while making exactly because there should be a, like a group of people who's a, like you or or you engaging any designers like what their background this should uh, i think it need to have a little uh, research uh, from your end that uh, how the product can be a user centric because yeah. uh, this is where this this is the way you can have a uh, uh, that's why i'm telling you okay this user centric also or uh, the our uh, you know uh, a traditional uh, you know enhance uh, skill data centric also to use a material uh, the aesthetics uh, that all together can be lead a better uh, product which i am sure that uh, that going to be a very different and uh, that going to be apple to many more people because that's the uh, that's why we always a uh, champion of that because the odisha has a so much diverse craft system and uh, the traditional skill of uh, using material uh, is amazing uh, wherever you go like either uh, the stone work or horn or a filigree or any other uh, but only think it, it's a slow process but uh, it's kind of a uh, is going to uh, but outcome going to be uh, definitely better and i i can see what you all are doing and that's very positive sign thank you sir so and also uh, like uh, um, we uh, always talk about the aspect of minimalism like we are using different patterns so like the recent uh, um, edition which is going on with so it is about niyamagiri we did dedicated to that niyamagiri but not so uh, also earlier what we discuss it is not like uh, appropriations so we are also continuously thinking in different way to giving back the community but uh, when we talk about niyamagiri and also we are talking about specific people those who are part of the land those who are part of us so we are uh, in first edition we are doing that niyamagiri uh, uh, which is talking about the life of our uh, uh, people dongaria and then uh, so when we visited there so we we saw how uh, engagement so they are talking about the community engagement in every sense so if there is a festival it is it is going to be a community engagement if there is uh, agricultural laborer so there is a huge community though both are do doing the things so it is uh, about getting together and doing things for everyone it is not a uh, like individual desire to fetishize or anything so i think in craft it is also community engagement because we have different people doing different things so so now it is separate because of so many reasons but earlier it was a kind of sharing with each other like someone is doing uh, uh, ikkat sari and someone is doing rug so it is kind of a exchange which is also enhance the livelihood of that kind of societal aspect so mm -hmm. i so uh, is it possible now also because we have so many way to explore and also export all those things in different medium so um, considering all those things so 
uh, when we uh, talk about uh, studio based practices like let's say beats so uh, how can we uh, um, explore each and every craft in such manner which is uh, benefiting the users and the the the, um, the artists like uh, artists as in uh, the potter or maybe the ceramist or maybe any clay based practices when we infuse the craft of odisha like let's say bell metal or let's say dokra casting so that uh, connection should be in uh, in which way uh, where both of them can, both of this craft and this uh, other um, practices can merge so uh, yeah, could right. you please elaborate uh, about that like how can we choose material to infuse to produce different kind of products see each each material and the form and aesthetics are like uh, maybe somewhere a little bit uh, uh, you can see the elements are uh, you know similarity but uh, their approach uh, they're making is that that's what uh, that's what uh, the designer's role going to be and first thing uh, or the your studio or the practice or the research practice is going to help out of how they're going to bring to community not through the object but also through their practices or their social link how they can collaborate they meet each other and know each other so yeah. that is that is that should be your goal yeah. mm, like let's say the bell metal uh, uh, in balakati what yes. they're doing they never seen much you know some other part of uh, uh, orissa where the bell metal uh, uh, like uh, belaguntas so yeah that that collaboration that's why the beats going to stand and create a catalyst of different community to come and interact or they go back and do something when later they can be emerged as a one form of art or maybe a different form of art can be presented one uh, uh, you know yeah. one together as a one uh, uh, in a one product yes so that is that's one uh, aspect of it okay because see uh, the long uh, as per my knowledge when i were, whenever i spoke to all these artisans and they have a certain skill they do it but a so, lot of lot of time uh, i i realize uh, through my barbell art project uh, many time i interact with uh, the artisan what happened they don't uh, 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 they have a lot of pressure of outsider like uh, the dealers they go and see generally uh, look at uh, our uh, dokra casting in a sadai varani yes uh, if you see they the the older dokras are very different they depict they talk about their social life hunting yes. or uh, you know the in a family traveling or something now they produce a lot of ganesh uh, yes. ram or uh, you know all kind yes. of uh, yes. uh, things which looks like they wanted to earn money that's why because they never get a chance even yes. that's why what happened in the result if you wanted to ask him to explore or do something very unique out of their expression they are very hesitant now doing it because yes. they have enough work i'm not saying he artisans are not uh, you know in a hungry but we have uh, the problem of understanding the core value of our own in hand uh, craft that the quality yes. is emerging not not emerging like as for the uh, but here the understanding what is the good quality and not good quality that's every uh, you know craftsman who are practicing uh, yes. they should understand it and they should value it even as an institution also we should value through award or the scholarship or anything uh, to, through we have a government institutions that yes. you know I, what role they're going to play into it so that the master craftsmen going to get uh, their dues you know they've been practicing even many master craftsmen are uh, in a very old age uh, and they're not been recognized well or uh, they never been you know uh, have a single brochure or a talk about them nothing yes. so this is this is a lot long way to go and also uh, 
um, like uh, we have to extend the possibility of craft in uh, terms of productivity because uh, let's say uh, um, like if we uh, talk about the homework so it is uh, i mean earlier it used to make some combs and those kind of products so now also same kind of things but those who are collaborating with them like the designers or the outsider those who are to make profit out of it they uh, train them to make such things which is only can extend at certain point so it is not helping them to uh, develop or revive that craft rather it is limiting within uh, products within the products actually so say uh, let's say um, they used to make the come now they used to make the pen stand so they are not uh, expanding the usability and also not expanding the production of that craft i think we need to work on that how to expand that productivity of a certain material or certain practices which has been doing so i think that is also a major point to um, note and uh, yeah, exactly because that all the craft our whole tradition most of their uh, products are utility value are, yes. uh, are there but only the thing is the time wise they may not be have a emphasis yes. as to that utility value but that that aspect need to be rethink and yes. then then uh, they may do something else uh, yes. but there's a, there's a more possibility of using those design and product or skill in a uh, only only open minded creative approach going to be get opportunity to do that yes. i remember uh, my my friend also here minaketan we studied together in biki college first time i i did uh, something using terracotta with a calendar uh, when i was a student in biki college i remember now it's a it's something you know we see terracotta as a, like a, a you know uh, elephant uh, or a horse or something oh, yes. but nobody is seen that can a ter- terracotta can be a, like a collage or a, can be used as a like a, uh, a, a you know mm-hmm. as a, like a sill or a 2d kind of a thing like a relief work so yes. it's depend that uh, how uh, how the cultural institutions like uh, biki college or uh, other yeah. art colleges are there they can give a little you know even the wiki college also have a traditional painting um, department, department. Uh, yeah. they do the, they give a little bit emphasis to the aspect of understanding our events practice and all so uh, 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 see the utility values need to be rethink and reevaluate and, re- uh, and 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 as you said that the technology is going to be important uh, factor but um, but la- let's say uh, uh, let's say what uh, uh, tools we need to give or create so that uh, our bell metal people can produce much uh, yes. uh, better product you know yes so that's why there's a lot of availability of uh, uh, industrial tools are there yes. uh, Mm. and uh, we have a uh, uh, now uh, the nift uh, nift we uh, there's a lot of students are they coming out from the nift um, but have they get a chance to uh, engage uh, themselves in this kind of space like a bridge studio or somewhere that's very important yes and also uh, like um... we have to more accept in the fact that we can uh, uh, com- uh, like it it could be help in making a community where everyone can come and then they can also uh, communicate with uh, us or maybe we can participate in different things so it is much about to broader the aspect of making so it is not in uh, only we are making so we have to simultaneously thinking and then we have to make so i think thinking and making process would be more important in a studio best practices like material and then we, what resources we have if we talk about beats so uh, so what is uh, the uh, philosophical aspect of beats when we it started 
so how you uh, guide us to the what going to be happen and what kind of work we will emphasize in our studio so could you please more uh, please a uh, little bit elaborate about the philosophical aspect of beats see in the beginning i said uh, uh, see the uh, when you look at the beats uh, in fact that the logo that yes. i design it's it's literally little bits are there together. Yes. When you take out one, that's you cannot wear them as a necklace or something. Yes. So this is, the, the, you know, we as a, like a um, as a community or 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 a civilization, we we never distinguish uh, you know high art or a low art or the traditional non traditional. We grow as a like a creative uh, person, you know, yes. even even. Uh, the, even as you mentioned that uh, how uh, our uh, traditions and uh, practices are so integrated like a saura sauras yes. they do ritual uh, for the ritual they do painting and the, the, they do painting they worship the painting and uh, they by the worshiping painting they do the dance and music yes. along with it and they celebrate because you see that one thread everything is connected so it's a kind of after the uh, you know western perspective we see okay this is craft this is a high art this is low and all that stuff so the bits can uh, give a little philosophical uh, join together it's no more that is and that's why all these artisans are treating themselves not a creative but like a carrier we we are we need to focus ourselves as a like a more creative people and uh, uh, the and with good category work good category skill yeah yes yeah um, it is uh, yeah actually we are also uh, um, discussing about all those things and also uh, i think uh, it is now more open to the uh, people who are part of this talk they can also ask so many questions we can extend more this conversations for the for the public and it could be more interesting so anyone can ask questions if they want to ask something in their mind they can ask mr jagannan sir julius yes sir uh, uh... As I, I had gone through the whole uh, discussion, I came to know that uh, uh, BT is not a uh, not a, just a studio, but it is a movement. So yes. I, I like the concept of uh, returning to the society. It's a great thing, and um, uh, it sounds very interesting. Also, uh, I must visit your studio once uh, yes, to sir. see the, the the what is the happening in the real world. Then uh, I must definitely uh, contribute something in a, in any way. Okay. Yes. So let me visit the studio. Then we'll talk. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Julius. I'm Paras, sir. Good evening, Paras, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, I had one um, doubt, one question in my mind. Uh, say, uh, we uh, like uh, the roots, our roots are traditional all of them are categorized as traditional uh, and now um, during these times everything is modern so uh, when we fuse together uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, the tra the traditional the tradition is not lost right? uh, and uh, uh, i am talking about the digital space or uh, say the product uh, creation of uh, product uh, everyday product uh, in that have the uh, this touch of tradition so uh, how can we in, influence people that uh, even the material we use are uh, say modern plastic or something like that but uh, the tradition is there so uh, what we have to keep in mind during the time i study applied at at the holy college of art so this is my second year just we just started so that is one question i had in mind since long time it's question for me uh, you asking me or uh, julius yes. 
ग्राफिक डिजाइन एंड ऑल द स्टॉफ लाइक वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड कॉल ईशान खोसला हिज इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ डिजाइन मोस्ट ऑफ from uh, our traditional uh, from traditional craft form uh, he more, more interact with them he create a object he create a design so basically it's important that how much you see how much we understand our uh, our uh, you know inheritance uh, in a in a deep sense uh, uh, how much we have a patience and time to uh, look at it and see the possibilities that uh, Mm, as i uh, uh, this part is very very important we we have a enough uh, for, uh, we have enough uh, diverse form of craft or uh, you know practices that need to be relooked at yes sir mm-hmm. and also yeah. uh, i mean i want to add something with that like uh, so when we talk about material it is um, every time it is about i mean what we call traditional what you call contemporary because it it is depend on the time and accessibility so when we have access to some thing so we think this is the new thing when we got lost or when it is not easy to find so it became so traditional so that means it is about the accessibility we can use still uh, now we can use brass as well as plastic as well as any other material so i think mm-hmm. it has that time specificity through that we understand a certain kind of practical skill knowledge which is we called craft because it is it is upon that also i mean it is um, as vast as that it is not specify into a specific material and also uh, uh, i mean it is a very time specific if i say i mean um, so i think uh, i i just want to add that Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, that um, thing you told about skill, uh, something you told it. Uh, could you like explain a bit, Julius? Skill as in I'm talking about the craft, like uh, uh, um, like let's say bell metal or something like uh, sir also uh-huh. mentioned. Like yeah. it only specific people know the craft. i mean no those kind of practices so that is the skill that is the practical skill as in they know the actual uh, practice of that skill so i just say that craft is about that practical skill which is extending or which is uh, i mean we need to revive or reimagine that right now i mean so what we say like contemporary and traditional i just add that point like it is more or maybe uh, so you can also explain like um, the craft part like how we understand that so like uh, uh, the knowledge of the root should be strong only then uh, we can uh, we can divert and uh, use the rules to uh, create uh, modern things like that you are saying thank you i think uh, i think uh, on this issue uh, the interest is more important than the knowledge so i'll just i'll just uh, con- conclude this thing uh, uh, by saying a vote of thanks for uh, jogai to join this session <clears throat> he's been the true inspiration behind beats it yes. was his idea all of us uh, have been working towards creating a space where we can experiment we can do uh, a lot more towards creating and imagining 
a different uh, a different uh, set of uh, works with crafts of odisha as its basis uh, the theme that we have picked uh, for the entire philosophy that jogabai has outlined is uh, telling the stories of odisha through the medium and the crafts of odisha that's going to be the way we are trying to present the identity of odisha through its own crafts in a contemporary way in a new way and we are always learning from him and always getting new ideas from him so uh, thank you jogabai and uh, just to even add to some of the points that he has made uh, currently i am right now at the serendipity art festival and one of the biggest exhibitions here is curated by anjana somani which is called uh, um, shrijan and it basically looks exactly at the concept that we have been talking about of higher of getting designers to work with craftsmen to produce new images and new formats using traditional materials and traditional ways of working and i can tell you anybody who has the time and effort to come to goa and look at that exhibition it's wonderfully curated we even yeah, have yeah. the tiles from uh, from uh, padmashri manobod rana there also you can see the tiles that you can see in craft museum they are also there but some of the new forms that have come from uh, designers like uh, made in earth uh, collective uh, there's another one called uh, fujonomics which is a bangalore based uh, designer collective they are working with local craftsmen and making such amazing modern objects um, it is it's really refreshing to see that this idea that we are germinating here in odisha is reflective of a wider trend that's happening right yes, yes, yes. so Thank if you. i can say one thing we are actually at the bleeding edge of a design revolution that's happening across the country right. and it's up to us that how well we can take the crafts of odisha and present it in that contemporary format in the future so right. um, uh, so thank you jogai for the guidance and, uh, the effort for this and thanks julius thank for you. helping thank this you.